So welcome to my channel. That's what we call a good life. Today I'm going to take you just for a wander around my allotment and um, just as a little bit of a tour and also a tour of my home garden as well and show you what I've got in my greenhouse at the moment. So the, the weather's a little bit changeable in October. It's still actually quite warm in Kent um, but it's been a little bit up and down with, with, with the weather in the fact that this morning my plan was to come up here get lots of digging done and it's pretty much been raining non-stop so unfortunately I've probably only got a big enough window to do my video and I'm going to have to come back another time to do my digging but I didn't want you to miss out on having a good look around to see what's going on at the moment so if you look at my rhubarb it's pretty much flopped down so there's nothing I can take off that at the moment although the one at home I've managed to take a little bit off of that because it's a slightly different variety um, if you've not taken all your pears and your apples off your trees, um, it's worth getting those off now. Mine are all off, apart from a couple of little ones there, which are not really big enough to do anything with. So I might as well just let the birds have them, if I'm honest with you. If we move down, it's all starting to look a little bit tatty and a little bit shabby now. So we did a little bit of trimming back because we had some brambles in the fruit cage area. So we did do a little bit of tidying up a couple of days ago. You can see a little bit of a of the cuttings there we've not quite taken up onto the composter. I don't know what it's like for anyone else, but where the days are getting a little bit shorter now, it is getting a bit more of a struggle. So if you're thinking that you're not getting everything done that you want to get done, you're not the only one. I'm having exactly the same trouble as well. So as we move down, so I've got the gooseberries, obviously they've well and truly finished off. I need to take a little bit of bind weed out of these. Um, it's quite hard to do that because there's lots of thorns on these and these are probably the trickiest things to try and tidy up. But I shall be having a go at that. I've finally got all my potatoes up, so I need to give this a really good dig. And this is what I plan to do imminently because I'm planning on putting my overwintering onions and overwintering garlic in this area. And um, so I need to get it really thoroughly dug, dug over and leveled off ready for me to be able to do that and I will be doing a separate video on that in a couple of weeks time so you can or you can see what you you know how you how you sow them so as we move down I've been steadily digging more of my carrots I keep them under this enviro mesh because it really does really really help with the carrot fly and um, I haven't got too many left under there but there's still a few and I'm getting a good you know enough so I don't have to buy any which is really really good which is quite good for quite a small area quite honestly and um, we have got an allotment shop so if you haven't got any enviro mesh um, and you want to get some and um, please do head over to our allotment shop we will put an image on the screen there and look in the description because you will be able to find it in there we recommend lots of things that we actually use ourselves um, that can help you so I've got lots of lovely beetroot there which I'm going to have a little bit more of a harvest um, of soon I mean like anyone else we, we produce so many lovely stuff you, you honestly don't know what to do with it and I really hate wasting it so in the next few weeks I plan to harvest quite a bit of it make some lovely things with it myself and share some with some of my friends and family I've got some parsnips coming along over there not too many so I don't know what they're going to be like um, and I've got some turnips and some radishes in, in each quarter there and some carrots which look a little bit, I don't know whether they're any good or not but we'll just have to see, we'll leave them in there and we'll see what happens. Anyone who watched my video last time and I've started um, eating some of my fennel which is absolutely delicious, I've been putting it in risottos and um, omelettes which have been really really lovely I've got a lovely um, fennel and lemon salad which I'm going to be doing soon as well um, but again there's only, many, only so, so many days in the week that you can eat your own produce unfortunately my kale has been completely infested with um, with, with, with white fly um, honestly absolutely horrific so we've just cut it back and I think we're going to need to dig it out I've actually managed to source some small plants from a, from, um, a garden centre so you know I'm going to see whether I can bring them on in my greenhouse and hopefully get them out so I can get some more kale but they were beyond redemption so we decided that the best thing to do is to get rid of them so I need to clear that section which we as you can see a little bit of a work in progress so I've been cutting all my status plants off so I've got lovely um, vases at home full of them and the blueberries I don't know if people remember when I planted the blueberries they were quite small but they're actually filling out quite a bit now um, I've actually sourced myself another blueberry plant which I will be putting in soon um, and I still need to tidy up the area where my corn was where the badgers attacked it but I haven't got in there yet so yeah even I'm thinking oh I need to get in there and get some of these jobs done so um so that's that and um, as we move down the leeks are starting to come out a little bit I haven't dug any yet I'm going to let them get a little bit bigger before I do and um, we've had a little bit of rain and we're doing a little bit more so I'm hoping that that's going to really help them fill out as you can see there's a little bit of rust on there which you often get a little bit of rust this time of year um it's not normally too detrimental it just stops them from getting quite as big as you'd like them to get and um, but we'll just have to see see how they go um 
this area here where I have my courgettes. As you can see, all the squash plants have really all died off. So the squash and the um, pumpkins are just sitting there curing a little bit longer until I harvest them, which I will do by the end of the month. But for the time being, I will leave them there. My courgettes have pretty much slowed off. I've got a few little ones coming. I, I don't think I'm going to get an awful lot more. And um, the little patty pan ones there and some over the other side. I, I might do. Um, I'll leave them there till the frost because if it stays warm, I even, even if I only get some small ones, you know, I picked off about three the other day. Um, it's, still, it's still food, isn't it? So I always think, well, I'm not going to put anything else here. I might as well just leave them and get as much as I possibly can off of them. But this is an area that definitely needs weeding. It's looking quite shabby. So, and we've got some lovely squashes. You can actually see them now in, in, in other videos. This, there were still quite a lot of leaves. Um, but actually, as the leaves die down, they kind of unveil themselves. So you can see quite a lot of them. I still don't exactly know what that squash is, um, that one over there. I think it's kind of morphed with another one. But I did eat one the other day, and it was really delicious. So at least it tastes nice. Um, it says it's a Turk's turban, which clearly it is not. Um, and it looks like it's crossed with maybe a butternut or something. Um, and the, the flesh is a little bit lighter than I would have expected, but it did taste really delicious when we roasted it. So at least, at least they're good eating. Um, as you can see, the beans are pretty much finishing off, but there's still a few on there. So again, with the beans, do you know what? I just leave them on there and the more I can get off, you know, I get off, I will pull them up at some point. I'm still getting bloom on there, you know? So even though I don't get a lot, all the ones that I've frozen, I haven't needed to eat yet. So I'm still managing to get enough off to feed us. And my son has beans most days. So it really is keep coming. And the run of beans is exactly the same. You know, I'm not getting many off of them, um, but I'm getting a handful off every day, the ones I've got here and the ones I've got at home. And they're still keeping me in, in beans, which is really, really good. And I haven't had to touch the stuff in the freezer. Let's move up to the rest of the allotment. So as we move up, as you can see, look, a couple of cool jets there, look, the little yellow ones come in. So, and I think I've probably got a few little green ones come in there as well. So, just there. So as you can see, they are still coming, the cool jets, so we'll just leave them, even if they do look ridiculously shabby, they are still producing. Um, I've got some chard here, um, which will overwinter, so I'll just pick off what I need when I need it. As you can see, where we've pulled up that cow, the white flies just buzzing around everywhere you might even be able to see it on camera I don't know underneath here I've still got the broccoli and I am still getting a little bit of broccoli off still so again even though it looks ridiculously shabby um, I'm still getting broccoli off of it so I might as well keep on using it quite honestly um, and of course that's of course that's the corn cage which we need to we need to sort out um, so that's that's my tour around the allotment I'm going to head off back home and we can see what's going on in the greenhouse and in my home garden now so we're now back in my home garden and I'm going to take you around what I've got here. Um, as you can see, we've got lots of logs stored up for the winter because um, we've got a wood burner. So we've been very busy cutting wood and um, getting ready for the winter. And um, what I was going to say is that a lot of people, um, I know a lot of you have subscribed to my channel and that's really fantastic. But statistically, most people that watch my videos don't subscribe. So it would do us a tremendous favour to my channel um, if you could subscribe because it will mean that more people will get to watch this really valuable content to help more people grow their own fruit and vegetables. So if you've not already subscribed, if you could, that'd be really, really awesome. And if you do subscribe, if you can put something in the comments to let you know you've done it, um, and I can give you a thank you, that'd be also awesome as well. So let's head on down and have a look what's going on in my garden. So I've had quite a tidy up here actually. So although the allotment looks like a new, well, some of the allotment has been tidied up, but I've tidied up more here. So I've got my child doing really well. I've also got some um, strawberries there um, that obviously will overwinter. So I've done quite a bit of weed in there and we've put a little bit of bark down just to kind of try and suppress the weeds a little bit to keep it a little bit more manageable. Um, I took my cucumbers up because they'd well and truly finished over there. So we've cleared that little bit and I've cleared a lot in and around here as well. But I still do have quite a few things on um, in my home garden. Like, I mean, believe it or not, this is just one aubergine plant that's gone completely mad. I still have actually got some really lovely aubergines on here that are coming along. So I'm just going to carry on leaving those on there and cut off. Um, I mean, some of them look like I could take them off already. That one in particular can come off. You know, even though it's October, the weather's been so mild, I've still got loads of fantastic aubergines. I mean, this is just amazing. I can't quite believe it, actually. And I've still got some tomatoes. And again, I know some people take their tomatoes off 
but I just leave them on. You know, I let them ripen for as long as I possibly can and only take green ones off when I really have to. You know, I took another big bowl full off this week for us to eat. I've got my spring onions down there, which I'm picking as and when I need to. And again, the, uh, my other beans as well, which I've got some more beans there that I can take off. So again, a lot of people are pulling their beans up, but God, I think it's madness. I mean, look how many beans I've got on there. You know, I have been giving them a little bit of a feed or a water when it's been dry. Um, they look completely shabby, but they're still producing beans. So that's really fantastic. I've still got a little bit of beetroot in here and I've got some lovely herbs in here. So that beetroot, like the beetroot up at the allotment, I will be pulling that up very soon. And I might fill that up with, with some more herbs, I think, just to keep that. Yeah, it's nice to add herbs um, to your salads and, and cooking during the winter. If we head on into the greenhouse here, I'm shutting it up during the night and during the day if it's a bit chilly now. And whereas in the summer, I've kept the door open pretty much all the time. Um, but I'm, I am making sure that I shut it at night and keeping it shut if it's a bit of a cooler day. So if we head on in here, um, these are the plants that I sourced and I've potted them all on. I've got kale and I've got some purple sprouting. I've no idea how well they're going to do, but I've popped them on into these little pots to try and bring them on a little bit more. Um, and if they get big enough, I'm going to put some of them outside. So far, I've only got one that looks like it's not going to make it. The rest of them are looking like they've taken. So we'll see. Hopefully they will replace the ones that got attacked by the white fly. And I've also got one other blueberry plant there which needs to go out on my two chilli plants, which again, I've still got loads of lovely bloom on there. So I'm just leaving that to produce more. And I seem to have a, spr a stray spring onion. I'm not entirely sure how that got there. Um, I've still got a few tomatoes in here. Um, again, like outside, so I'm still harvesting those. Um, and my pepper plant that got badly attacked does seem to be recovering a little bit. Um, so again, we'll see what that produces. And I've got some pak choy in there, which I'm just using as salad leaves, some mizuno and some curly leaf lettuce there, which I've started to use. Um, I've also got another tomato plant there. And my cucumber plant, again, you know, I've still got cucumbers coming. And again, up here, I love it. It just seems to keep training through my greenhouse. I've got a lovely, another little bunch of them. I seem to be still picking off about four to six a week. I mean, it just seems absolutely bonkers to be doing this in October, but I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying the food and sharing it with my friends and family. So I do really hope you've enjoyed the tour of my allotment and my home garden. Like I said, if you've not subscri subscribed, if you could, that'd be really awesome. It'd be doing me a massive favour and sharing um, my, my, you know, what I do with more people. Um, please tell us how you're doing. If you've got any questions or queries, please do put them in the comments and we do answer every single question um, given time.